Hey guys and welcome to Paul's DIY. This video is coming a little late, it's about a week late and that's because I have been ill for the last week. Uh, I had a severe throat infection, full of a cold, uh, it was like shards of glass in my throat, I could hardly talk, uh, hence why I've not been able to upload a video. Uh, but I'm feeling a little bit better now, throat's not 100%, I'm not 100% but on, as they say on with the show and uh, this custom as, and as I always say is probably one of my best so far uh, I actually do think this is probably one of my best customs because I've taken three different figures and brought them together to make one fantastic custom and the way I did it I wasn't 100% sure it'd work but uh, I was lucky they all fitted together so as I said without further ado let's move straight into the custom so the way I had this in my head was the first step was to take the Batman v Superman figure and remove the Batman emblem from the, his chest. Then second I took the head from the Kane and Jairus figure and I placed that onto the Batman figure as you can see. The next step was to then cut the arms and legs off the Batman v Superman leg, uh, figure but keeping the uh, gauntlets and the boots and then Next, take the taking the classic Batman, cut off his arms and legs and attach them onto the BVS figure as shown. Next step was then to replace the Batman v Superman gauntlets and boots and last but not least give him a mask and a paint job. So that's how I could see this, this custom coming together, three figures coming into one to make a Batman v Superman DCEU uh, Robin figure and that's how I saw it in my in my, my head that's why I thought I'd do, do that little clip show there so you could see the different steps of how I put, they brought these three figures together to make one custom now you will notice my voice does sound good in parts of this video and sounds crackly in the others some parts of this video was filmed before I got ill and then others was after oh when I got a bit better so guys please enjoy the video please like and subscribe and let's get into it okay guys I uploaded my video for my Thanos custom a couple of days ago and we're moving straight on with the next custom and this is the custom Robin I have skipped head as usual I always do um, by removing the chest emblem but I'm going to show you how I did it it's very much exactly the same way that I did remove the chest emblem for the Robin suit again using a Stanley knife so be very very careful these are dangerous and I've got myself several times now the way the only way I can explain how to do this is very much like if you're peeling an orange or peeling an apple with a knife and what you want to do and just zoom in so what you want to do is have the blade as level to the figure as you possibly can using Hold it with your left hand or right hand if you're right handing with the opposite hand with your thumb place it on top of the blade and what you'd want to be doing is slicing into it and so it's very time consuming because you want to try and get it as smooth as possible like so and eventually you'll remove the chest end one now if you go back onto my channel and watch the custom for the Robin suit I do say with the fact that it's uh, the suit in the film looks battered and bruised and the fact that when I will attach all the detail on the chest it does take your eye away from the fact that all this is been scraped away now the way I'm going to get around it for this custom because I will be spraying this with primer and then I will be painting it or spraying it with a red or possibly bronze uh, to give it the proper robin colour because that was what a couple of comments on the robin suit custom is it's not red it should be red I argue that the fact that in the film it doesn't look red <laughs> but I will be doing this as if he's I won't say brand new into uh, brand new robin as in he's only just put the suit on because as I say it does have the cuts here but the way I'm going to get around that is if you can see there it's been scratched off a bit there the, the detail of the suit so what I'm going to do is all around different areas I'm going to rub it rub away the texture of the suit so that it does look like it's been it's a well used suit 
and then hopefully when I put the strip on here with the buckles and the rod in here it will take you right away. So as usual just off to the right here I have my computer with reference photos of the robin suit from the movie. I also have my own video from the, my, the robin suit custom where I did it was in the back cave. I have that video as well. I'm using my own video uh, for references and that is just to make sure that I cut these again in the right areas. Now again this suit I cut it here and on his legs here and then there's going to be as if there's actual person in it this time uh, so the, it's not going to be textured and the figure I'm using is this one. Now you've all seen this figure before I've used fit this figure on two different customs and as you can see the legs are smooth like it's a, a normal leg and what I'll be doing is I'll be taking the legs off and the arms I'll be spraying them with primer and then giving them a skin tone colour and then best to explain this I'll be taking the gauntlets and attaching it to this arm and then from here it will be here <laughs> I'm not explaining it well but it will, be, it will become obvious what I'm doing so the next step is to put his legs off and put his hands off
Okay, here I have the arm from the classic Batman figure and as you can see it fits nice and snug into the gauntlets and what I'm going to be doing is sawing off the top and I'm just going to be using the lower half of the arm sawing it halfway through the bicep Okay, that's the legs and arms glued into place, sewn off at the perfect position so that the top half of the bicep of the Batman B super figure matches up with the bottom half of the bicep on the classic Batman figure arm. Legs have been cut to size so that once the head is on it will stand at 18-19 inches and when I threaded the legs in it has prized the legs apart on the BBS Batman figure. And I'm just going to fill that in with a bit of either milliput or a bit of clay. Okay guys, so after using the clay in my Thanos custom I've become a bit more confident using it and I've decided what I'm going to try and do is using a cut off from the lower half of the leg from the Batman v Superman figure. I'm using that as a sort of like a stamp and I'm pressing it into some clay as you can see and then I'm going to overlay that over the chest of the BVS figure and try and blend it in with the rest of the figure so that the chest will have the same uh, design as the rest of the arms and legs. So the texture of the clay came out fantastic, unfortunately when I placed the clay onto the chest of the figure and left it to dry it cracked so I had to go in and do it a second time. Okay, that's the chest texturing done, just waiting for the clay to dry now and hopefully this is the second attempt because the first attempt it all cracked so this is slightly thicker and so just wait for this to dry and see how it comes out. Okay, while we wait for the clay to dry on his chest, and as you can see, it's been textured. I did that using an off cut from the lower half of his leg. She used it as a stamp, pressed it on. So, whilst we wait for that to dry, we're going to move on to his spear. Now, if you go back and watch my Robin suit custom figure from the Batman v Superman scene where it's in the Batcave. I made the spear using Perspex tubing, very much like this, but I did it as screen accurate as I could get it, cut it in, it in the middle and it had a little bit that's broken off at the end as well. But for this one, because it's going to be actually Robin in the suit, and it's going to be before all the wear and tear it's going to be one solid spear with the spike on the end and the other spike and the curved spike on this end so let's go ahead and make it so before I went ahead and made the spear this time around, I went um, online and did a bit of research and found out that the Robin spear that we see in the BVS isn't a complete spear and it's actually called a halbert which is, um, has uh, an axe on one side and a spear on the end and then a spike on the other side and apparently in the unseen backstory of Robin 
for Robin um, in the BVS uh, DC universe, uh, the Joker broke up the Halbert before he uh, killed the uh, Robin. So what I've done is using the tech manual that you can find images online, I've gone ahead and reconstructed the Halbert spear uh, to the best of my knowledge of how it would have looked uh, when it was complete. So here I'm using the same uh, ear widener spike that I use for the BBS mech armor spear, kryptonite spear. I'm just using a normal super glue just to glue it onto the end of the perch specs tube. Okay, using the pictures from the tech manual, I've gone ahead and drawn the design I'm using onto an old DVD case and I'm going to go ahead and cut it out and then super glue them onto the Perspex tubing. I've also got this thin Phillips screwdriver that came out of my box for, these are used for glasses to fix glasses and this one is set like this and what I've done is using the purpleizers I've snapped the end off and again I'm going to glue that into the centre of the tubing and then using some foam I'm going to do the four spikes that come off the edge of the end there so that's the next step that's everything glued in place you've got the screwdriver in the end the DVD case cut into shape super glued on the end there waiting for this to dry and then again got the ear wideners that I've used in previous projects for the spike glued on this end so I'll leave this to dry and then that'll be ready for painting so as you can see uh, the uh, chest of uh, the clay chest uh, cracked again but to rectify the cracks all I did was go in with some water and clay mix it together so the clay was um, watered down and then with a dry brush dipped it into the water and clay paste it over the chest and that just filled in all the cracks and smoothened it out very evenly. Okay guys so as you can see I've gone ahead and sprayed the entire figure with some grey primer and that was just so I could have a blank canvas to see what I was working with after I'd done the chest and as I mentioned the uh, clay did crack but I went in with some uh, watered down clay pasted it over and filled the, um, the cracks in and once that had dried you can't even see them anymore so here I'm just filling in I did a gap uh, an indent on his chest but it was uh, too deep so I've gone in with a bit of foam to fill that in and then I'm just going over that now with some super glue and putting these
Okay, so as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, uh, this is a culmination of three figures that I've put together. The Batman v Superman Batman, the classic black Batman 19 inch figure, and this Star Wars figure, the Kane and Jairus. And all I'm using from this is the head. As you can see, I've already sawn it off. Now, actually, it was when I bought this figure and saw the head that I came up with the idea of doing the Robin custom figure. Uh, using this head. Uh, the reason I've used, used this one is because I think this head, the features and especially the uh, the hair kind of reminds me of the Robin from the Arkham series Batman and I thought it'd be a good starting point and it was actually what when I saw this and, and it gave me the idea to do the Robin figure. So this was uh, this was an experiment this is what gave me, uh, like I said, gave me the idea and I cut the head off, attached the eyepiece, this is out of form, the same material that I've used for his buckles on his chest and then I've shaved down the chin using a Stanley knife. Now this figure is uh, the skin coloured all the way through so uh, he had a, a really long uh, beard and uh, so I've been able to shave that down and then using some black acrylic paint painted on a, a beard. So because I'm a bit, oh secondly just to mention he has a little pigtail as well that I've just pulled off and uh, I was going to, I'm going to touch that all with some brown paint. But because I'm a bit of a perfectionist I wasn't 100% happy with the eyepiece. So I went out and bought another one. So here you can see a before, an actual before and after. So as I mentioned he does have a real long chin. But again, I'm going to be shaving that up, uh, away with a uh, Stanley knife. Uh, also, on this one, I used some white spirits uh, to rub away the eyebrows. They're just painted on. And as I mentioned, this whole thing is skin coloured all the way through. So just using a bit of turps or white spirits, you can rub this off. Again, there's a little pigtail. Just pull that off. And then paint that in. So, that is a before and after. And as I mentioned, I'm not happy with the IP, so I'm going to have a second attempt. Now, the only drawback with this is now I am stuck with two headless Kanan, what's his name, Kanan Jairus figures. And hopefully I'll find some use for it, well, for them. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's go in and show you how I did the head did the chin and then I'm going to have a couple of attempts at the eyepiece before gluing it on this time.
that is the second attempt done and to be completely honest there's not much difference uh, I do like how on the second attempt the mask goes up further on the side of his face but now I have the option of one with a beard and one clean shaven and now it's just next step is to paint the figure ok guys we're at the painting stage and as usual I've skipped ahead slightly and I've gone ahead and painted his legs and his arms and I've been using the Kislev Flesh Tone paint to do that and I'm just moving on now to do the actual body of the figure the bobbin suit I'm mixing a couple of colours using acrylic now I'm using this acrylic mixed with a couple of different ones just to get the right tone I've got to add the brown and that's the image I'm working off this is an image from Google where someone's done the Robin cosplay and it's a more or less like a rust colour but so I'm just going to mix some, mix a few acrylics colours together and see what I can get <laughs> 